that choke point, that detonation of the ID. We're up front. To me, it's a, it's a position of power almost. Fear of hearing an explosion behind you. Just think about that time that they got hit. It's not just driving a vehicle. You're 100% you're all the time. It's all three of us. We're not really friends, not really enemies, we're just brothers. It weighs heavy on us. It's definitely an adrenaline rush. I have the best vantage point, pretty much. Being up front's a new experience. You have to be a lot more vigilant. You're looking at 180 degrees, and uh, you're looking for anything to left or right and looking for anything suspicious. Yeah, you can't see what's going on. My job is basically to help uh, the driver in the VC navigate through the route, uh, look out for ID indicators, pretty much anything that's suspicious on the road. The guy in the cab. We do share the road, and it is a, a little sketchy at times because, you know, everything is a possible threat, and now just determining which is an actual threat. They have to have that tactical patience, and uh, you have to know when to shoot, when not to shoot, or what to call up, when not to call up. To me, it's a, it's a position of power almost. You know, you have that weapon system up there and you can engage it at your discretion if you see a threat. Well, it's a bumpy ride and uh, I mean, it's, it's, I, I enjoy it. You know, you're exposed, you see how the Afghans live on a first-hand basis. Just, you know, it brings me a good feeling knowing that we're getting their supplies safely to them and making sure that the convoy is safe. That's what we're all out here for, and I just enjoy being up there. 